I had a viewer ask me about, um, well, I'm going to combine a couple things. I had some viewers ask me about the different logic types of TTL family, um, CMOS family, things like that. And then somebody also was asking about the numbering system of these uh, TTL parts. So we're going to start out with the 7400. Um, this is the most uh, uh, largest family of parts. So the first number is 74. I'm not sure where that came from. Uh, maybe somebody knows. But it's 70, something like a 7404. A 7404 was an inverter from the ancient days, <laughs> regular TTL. So it starts with a 74. Um, but there's there's been 70. Then after the 7400 series came out, there was 74S, 74L, 74HC, 74 74 74ALS. There's a bunch of a bunch of other types of families that came along. So here in the numbering system, it's called subfamily, right? Uh, and so there could be up to three letters in the subfamily. And so something like a 74HC04 would be an inverter, but in HC in the HC family. So the function is the last two digits, um, or the last three digits, like a 74, 7404, there's two digits, 7414, there's two digits, 74374, that's three digits. It can go up, actually go up to five digits. There's like a, a lot of functions these days. I, I was kind of surprised how many more numbers there are since I've been designing things. Um, so there's been some confusion about the first two letters, the seven, I mean, the first two numbers, the 74. Um, 54 is military grade, and that is the temperature range over which these parts can, can be used. Um, so it's either 74 or 54. Um, 75 is sometimes used as an interface device. Um, you will sometimes see other numbers in front that mean different things, but these are kind of the, the standard ones, 74 and 54, all right? And then the subfamily. So we'll talk about the sub the subfamily next. So here's kind of the long years of TTL parts. Um, this picture is kind of backwards in my head, but anyway, uh, the first parts were back in the '60s, the TTL parts, and then you can kind of see how they came out: the AS, the ALS, the FAST, the F, F parts, the HC parts. Um, so. Um, this is just kind of interesting because I, I hadn't I hadn't seen this chart before, but let, let's take a look at all of these different families. Uh, so here it is in tab, tab table form. Um, so the introduction of DTL, uh, I don't think I've ever been around DTL, uh, was 1962. Echel is actually quite old, uh, 1962. And then RTL, resistor transistor logic, uh, was in 63, TTL was 64, um, and then came out the L version, which was lower power, the H version, which was faster, um, the S version, which was the shot key fast stuff, the LS, which was low powered shot key, ALS, advanced low power shot key, F for fast, AS for advanced shot key, all different types of things. Um, the HCT parts are compatible with TTL for logic levels and stuff. Um, but you can see here the actual, the old TTL parts were actually quite fast. Uh, the, in fact, the, I think there's not much difference in speed between an HC part and an LS part. Um, just the amount of power, power consumption is much, much different. And then uh, the parts of getting fancier and fancier and fancier. Uh, this is not a. This is not for for no reason. This is a com a, a com comprehensive list. There's actually much more parts than this. Um, but even recently, as 2004 came out, the G parts, the gig gigahertz parts. I've never had a chance to play with those, but they're they're they are interesting. You can see that the supply voltage range is quite quite low on those. In order to make things fast, you need to make transistors very very small, and if they're very very small, they can't take much they can't take much of energy and they can't take much more voltage. Um, and then uh, to talk about the numbering system, uh, again, uh, there can be extra numbers on the package. There could be numbers in front and there can be numbers in the back. Um, the front numbers can signify who made it, whether it was Signetics or Texas Instrument or Motorola. And then a lot of times the back uh, numbers will tell you what, what type of package it is. Was it a uh, plastic package? Was it ceramic um, and things like that. So there are a lot more to the numbering system than than uh, just the uh, just the seventy four part. Uh, 
Okay, so so what what part should I be using? Uh, which family should I be using? Um, well, it all comes down to what you want to accomplish. Um, I haven't been designing for a long, long time, so I'm not the best one to answer that. But uh, back in the day, um, there was basically kind of the choice between either using an LS part or an HC part. Um, those were kind of the, the big choices. If you needed some, something to go really, really fast, you might use an S part or an F part. Um, the HC parts are not incredibly fast. Um, Echo parts are, are much, much faster. Um, these days there are some very, very fast parts. There's low voltage parts, the LV parts, um, the LVC parts. Um, so yeah, there's a lot more than I'm showing here. Lots more choices these days for very, very high speed stuff. Um, I don't know if a, uh, you know, hobbyist or tinker really would get into the really, really fast stuff, but maybe. Um, but, uh, my channel is kind of about the old school stuff. So I wanted to, uh, at least tell you about the old, uh, the old TTL parts and numbering system.